Good afternoon. First thing I'd like to do is introduce my wife, Ann. Uh, Ann's my high school sweetheart. We've now been married for 38 years. And we have two wonderful daughters. So when I entered this race, I entered this race with my wife. As many of you know, Bill McCollum has stooped to an all-time low in Florida politics. He is clearly abusing his power, to and he will try and do anything to rig the race so he can hang on to his power. In short, Bill McCollum is the Tanya Harding of Florida politics. Bill McCollum says in one of his negative ads that no one has ever questioned his, in his integrity. Well, Bill McCollum, I am clearly questioning your integrity today. You have abused the power of your office, and you have abused the public trust. You should be embarrassed. Your actions are shameful. The media might chalk this up to politics as usual. This is what career politicians do. Career politicians attack with lies. They attack with trial lawyers. They attack with bureaucrats under their control. Career politicians will absolutely do anything to win. And that is the problem. And that is why I'm running to change all these things. We can't let this continue. Today, just like I did with Obamacare, I'm going to take a stand. I'm saying, shame on you, Bill McCollum. Enough is enough. You wonder why we don't have jobs in this state? With President Obama in Washington and career politicians like Bill McCollum in Tallahassee, businessmen are regularly treated as targets for taxes, for fees, for every kind of government obstruction. And should they dare to run for office? For smear campaigns. Bill McCollum is a creature of government. He spent his entire life feeding at the public trough, either as a politician or as a lobbyist. He has never created one single private sector job. He has never risked his life savings to start a company, to build a business, employ people, or grow our economy. He has no earthly idea how hard it is. People who start business stay up all night worrying about how they're going to succeed. I've helped build many great businesses. One is right here in Florida that continues to grow even during this unbelievable recession. It's called Solantic Urgent Care Centers, and I'm very proud of it. It employs, employs over 500 Floridians, and has provided quality, convenient health care to 2 million patients at a fraction of the cost of an emergency room. And after you're taken care of there, if you, if you don't feel well in three days, you can come back for free. You'd think that at a time when people really need jobs and affordable health care, that my opponent would recognize how valued that is, especially for those people that, that are there working at that company. But my opponent cares about one thing, his next job. Not jobs for anybody else but him. Not jobs for other Floridians. Now, in a desperate attempt to revive his dying campaign, and keep his government job, Bill McCollum has unleashed a smear campaign that would impress Obama and the Chicago political machine. He has used a campaign contributor to file a bogus lawsuit against a good company and put Florida jobs in jeopardy. He's put his job above the jobs of the hard-working Floridians that Solantic employs. His campaign has fed lies, encouraged bogus lawsuits, and let loose the bureaucrats under his control to try to discredit a great Florida business. It's easy to find a few disgruntled employees, but it's hard to build a business 
that employs over 500 people. On, on behalf of all the Florida Floridians, they're out there trying, looking for a job, and know how difficult it is. And all the slanted employees, whose jobs are now in jeopardy because of Bill McCollum's political stunts, I call on you, Mr. Attorney General, to quit abusing your office for political gain at the expense of Floridians. Thank you, and I'll now take some questions. Will you release the deposition? It's a private matter, and I will not release the deposition.